I'm Emily Myatt, pet groomer and stylist. This is Luna a Labradoodle. And today I'm going to show you how to groom using the wonderful KM2 clipper made by Wall. Hey Miss Luna. It's a good idea to introduce your dog to any new tool on the table, so let them sniff and, and smell, and especially if this is your first time trying to groom your own dog. These clippers are great because they have lots of different types of uses. You can use them anywhere on the dog's body at all, and all you need to do is simply change the blade on the end to adjust the length. Or you can, by using the same blade that comes with the clipper, use the wall snap-on attachment combs. And they come in a variety of lengths as well, so you can interchange depending upon the type of body part that you want to do or the length that you'd like. So there's two important things to remember before you start clipping your dog. You want to brush the dog right through, making sure that there's no knots and tangles. And then we want to make sure that that coat is super squeaky clean as well. So a really good bath. When you're clipping, generally we're going to start at a part of the dog's body that they feel most comfortable with. And often this is down at the back part of the dog. So we might adjust the clippers to down here first, let the dog sniff and smell and be comfortable before we move the clipper further up towards the front of the dog and around their head and their face and their neck. We try to go with the lay of the coat most of the time. So starting this way and working our back towards the tail and the same with the legs, we're starting at the top and working down towards the toes. Beyond that, it's just go right through your dog once more time and comb everything through, make sure it all sits down and looks really nice and neat and even. 